everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm Shaughnessy and on this channel we discuss fragrance beauty and wellness and if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe subscribe so y'all it is another random review Wednesday I think this is my first one for this month of February and I don't have that many items here um I just wanted to update some of you on these because I actually had a couple of you ask about a, few, a couple of these things here. But these are the items that I wanted to um, talk about and update you on because these are items that's probably not going to be used up quickly in my collection. And um, I, I just, these are ones I would want to hear about, people talk about, um, because it's not as many videos on these items. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Now, the first item I'm going to start with, y'all know if you've been watching me um, for a minute that I love body washes. That happened, <laughs> I think, when I decided to get all the Olay body washes and the Duh or what. I just became obsessed with body washes. It hasn't changed. Um, I like that they don't turn back quickly. I like that I can switch it up, change it up. So I kept hearing Chloe Yasmin and then Michaela talk about this particular body wash. And this isn't a brand that I am uh, drawn to when it comes to body washes. If I hear people say something or I see you know, a scent that catches my eye, I'll, I'll might grab it, but it's not on my list of body washes I watch out for. So when I heard them talk about this one, it was on my mind. And then Michaela is the one who pushed me over. Like Chloe asked me, and I would hear her talk about it all the time. And then Kayla was the one, her story just tipped me over the edge. And if you want to hear the story, I will link my haul video above. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Cause I'm not going to go into that right now. But that is the Soft Soap Body Exfoliating Coconut Butter Scrub Body Wash. And when I got this, y'all, I smelled it. And it's not a scent that blew me away. But then another thing, another reason why I like to review body washes for people it's because you can't tell with a body wash sometimes just smelling it like this as opposed to actually using it in the shower. So at first I was like, hmm. I said, well, let me see how it is in the shower. Now it does, it's, it's a coconutty, it doesn't even really smell like coconut. It's, to me it smells like coconut shea butter more so. And I just, I'm not in love with the scent. It's not a bad scent. But it's not one I love. But I will say to me it smelled better in the shower. Now when I used it, since this is an exfoliating body wash, I wanted to see do I... Because some body washes say exfoliating and it don't mean a thing. You know, it's just beads in there for decoration. They don't do anything. Now I did feel like that this body wash actually gave a very light exfoliation but i could feel the beads i felt like i could feel it working on my skin and i will say this is a very potent scent um it did feel good on my body i'm not gonna say it felt great but it's a decent body wash to me i'm not enamored of it like uh kayla and chloe i i'm just not it, it exfoliated well. I will say the fragrance was strong in the shower. I think Michaela said it lingered on her at way, well, I don't know, way after, but it lingered on her after the shower. I immediately start layering and doing my routine. Sometimes, like today, the body wash I use, I felt like it lingered for a minute and kind of blended with everything I did. I'll tell you about that later. Uh, in another video but this one I felt like it lingered when I got out of the shower but right when I started you know putting on lotion or whatever it left I didn't feel like it stayed lingered around long enough to mesh with my routine so this to me I just wanted to mention it because like I said I've heard Chloe and Michaela just rave about it especially Chloe and it's just it's okay to me I think it's a good basic if you're not one who is obsessed with hygiene products, 
if you just want a very good moisturizing you know fragrance exfoliating body wash a kind of all-in-one this is a good one and i think this is under five dollars so it is affordable so for me i'm not in love with it we'll see if it changes when i finish it up but usually with the body wash after i've used it a few times i know if i'm gonna love it or not and this one is just okay to me i'm not obsessed with it but i don't regret getting it because it, i was just on it was on my mind like at the back of my mind after hearing them talk about it so i'm glad i finally bought it but for me it is just it's it's an average body wash it's no it's good but i've have and have used better so again those are my thoughts on the soft soap coconut butter scrub body wash okay so these are the items that people were asking me about when they saw i haul these and these are the Be Fresh serums. I have all five, and I'm just gonna start with the one that I think most people, I think this is one from watching people's videos that was you know, popular on TikTok, and this is from Dull to Dewy Hydrating Body Serum. Cute packaging. Oh my goodness, I'm just looking at these. These only last six months. Y'all, check your stuff. Cause now I know I'm about to be using these babies a lot. So this one to me, the dull to do it, it has a skincare type of light fresh scent. Now this is supposed to replenish, rejuvenate and quench even the driest skin. So let me tell you how I use this. I, you, it says this can be used on wet skin also and it'll transform your skin from dull to dewy i feel like i take really good care of my skin so i don't have dull skin okay so i can't tell you about that what i will say for this one <sighs> i used it when my skin was wet before i left the shower i slathered this all on my body because i like to do that usually as a first layer of hydration moisturization before i even leave the shower because i leave the shower and then i go into my skincare routine so i usually put on something light easy um before leaving the shower i did enjoy it for that but i will say with this one it seemed like it sank into my skin really quickly and my skin didn't feel i my skin didn't feel like i didn't need to put anything else on you know how sometimes you can use something and you, your skin feels good and you feel like I'm good. With this one, I didn't get that feeling. Once it sank into my skin after I finished with my skincare routine, I was ready to put on lotion and, and keep going because my skin, it didn't feel bad, but it didn't feel great. It didn't feel tight, but it felt on the verge. So this is one that I would say for me, especially during the winter season, even it is hydrating and it did soak into my skin really quickly but this is not a serum i would use on its own and my thing is these are body serums so just like with your face you don't stop with the serum on your face and don't go in with your moisturizer sunscreen whatever else you want to use you use other steps in conjunction with your serum so that is how i had planned to use these anyway but i wanted to mention this just in case someone wanted to purchase this and this be their only moisturizer moisturizer to me this if they're not made for that um but especially this one it, it really soaked into your to my skin and i like that about it so i felt like it worked well my skin was soft but like i said i i felt like i needed more moisture more hydration but that didn't bother me because it's a body serum and I didn't purchase it to use on its own anyway. Okay, so that's the one that I think got the most hype. I think this one also, this is Lit From Within Illuminating Body Serum. It says it reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation and visibly illuminates skin. So I use this one the same way. Now with this one, let me see. Yeah, this has that the way this packaging looks that vitamin c orange it's very citrusy it's a very citrus heavy 
heavily fragranced product. Now, some people might wonder, does it have any shimmer in, in it? I didn't notice any shimmer on my skin while using this. Did I notice all oh, my skin looked so much more glowy with it? I didn't notice that either. But with some with these products, you have to use like I'm gonna after since I've tried them all, I'm gonna pick one and I'm gonna be using it all the time now. And then I will see does it do what it claims to do on the packaging because this says reduces the appearance of hyperpigmentation. I feel like I would have to use this whole bottle to say, do I feel like it did it? did that now i did feel like it it moisturized my skin just like the dull to do the way i was using it um i did feel like my skin looked nice while using it so it it's a good one will i want to get it again i'll have to use it all the way up and see what it says so that those are my thoughts on the lit from within body serum the next one is as good as new, and I love the color combo on this one. Skin Renewal Body Serum is supposed to restore moisture and balance skin um, and promote cell renewal. Pink and purple. I can't remember how this one smells. Okay, so this kind of had a very, very, very light, barely there, berry scent. Um... Again, I, I don't want to sound repetitive, but it's it's decent. I liked it. I like the way my skin felt with it. It was only one of these where I felt like my skin dramatically felt different after using it um, just the first time. So I'm saving that one for last. But the rest of them that I'm going to go through, they hydrated, they moisturized. I would still use a moisturizer with all of them in my opinion because like i said i don't think um you know it says you can massage all over and be done but to me a serum isn't made to be used by itself anyway so i i'm gonna say it again because the person who was asking me in the comments was like how did you use these i use them as a first step in my body routine just like you're you have a routine for your face have a routine for your body so that's the way i use this one um it was nice it smelled pretty good i didn't love the scent and for hold on. yeah it's barely there barely there scent so it's not gonna compete with anything else you're you're wearing like this one the lit from within to me is a high very fragrant um, this one is like a skincare fragrance. This is barely there fragrance berry. So you don't have to worry about most of them competing with your lotion. Okay, this next one is Less Bounce Firming Body Serum. It's supposed to deeply hydrate while firming and toning tired skin. I can't remember how this smells. Okay, and this one just has a very clean lotiony scent. So again, I just use this in my as my first step before moisturizing. I liked it. Um, we will see after I use them all up which ones are going to be the ones I'm going to like. I have to keep this one because in my well, let me finish this last one. So those are my thoughts on the less balance. I don't know if it firmed or did anything like that. This last one is called Smooth AF. It's an exfoliating body serum and it's supposed to refine and restore for smooth and fresh looking skin. Now this smells, this has a fruity, I don't know, fig smell that I'm getting. I don't like the way this one smells really. It doesn't smell bad, but it's not a fragrance I'm in love with. But this is the one that blew my mind, okay? I put this on, and I'm thinking, because I'm like, it's going to be like all the rest of them. And I just went about my, my life. And then I got ready to put on my lotion, and I was like, oh, my skin felt like I had exfoliated. My skin always feels soft. You know, I keep, like I said, I take care of my skin. But it felt so super smooth and i said okay okay be fresh <laughs> because this one my skin felt i mean super duper smooth this is the only one out of the five 
that I felt like I saw an immediate difference in my skin after using it. This is the only one that was immediate. So I use this one on all of these I use with my skin wet, but I did want to try it with my skin, not, you know, kind of mixing it in with a lotion or something so you could get my thoughts on that. So I use this one because this is so far my favorite because this is the one I saw immediate results with. Now, I use this along with uh, a body butter from Dove. And my skin, which it didn't bother me, but it, will, it would bother some people. I felt like a stickiness. Not to where it was tacky and bothering me, but you know how if you touch your skin, you feel a residue, like a residual residue of something. I did feel that when using this on dry skin. So for me, I would say use this on wet skin and let it be your first step. Because if you don't wanna feel, okay, in the summer that would probably bother me, but in the winter when you're wearing like long sleeves and you're not really feeling your skin, it didn't make a difference to me. But if that would bother you, just keep that in mind. So wet skin, apply it on wet skin, you'll be fine, no problem. But applying it, you know, I did this one first. I. And it was, my skin was still slightly damp. And I put it on after my skincare because I wanted to let my skin kind of air dry a little bit. And then I put this on and then I put my body butter on and I said, okay, it's a little, it's a little sticky. Just a little tacky. You can feel that residue. So I would suggest the way I plan to use these from Be Fresh, um, all of these right here. I plan to use them when my skin is wet before leaving the shower. So those are my thoughts on the Be Fresh um, body serums. And I will say, like I mentioned in my haul video, these are, I, I think, just add tax, let's say 10 bucks. They, for a body serum, that is a decent price because you, when you're looking at Sephora and Ulta and body serums, you're looking, I know, over 30. And, and you looking towards 50 for a lot of them. So I think these are a great affordable option. And like I said, with this Smooth AF, my skin was that, honey. Okay, immediate results. So I have high hopes after using them all, you know, picking the one I'm gonna use and consistently as I use them up, I think they're gonna be great just based off of how my skin felt after using them and the results from this one. Okay, so the next item I want to talk about is for hair. This is the Dry Bar Liquid Glass Instant Glossing Rinse. Now, I wanted to update you all on this one because in my <laughs> haul video, I was like, oh, I don't like the smell. Now, the smell still is very strong, very potent. For some reason, I get vinegar vibes or something out of here. I don't know. But... I will say I use this in the shower and I feel like it's been three days. I feel like my hair is still looking pretty shiny. Um, and Amika, like I, I love the Amika Shine Rinse too. And that's why I like to um, rotate my products. Cause I had gone through two bottles, two or three back to back of that. And I felt like it wasn't working the same. And then I use this one and I feel like it's, it's much shine in my hair as with the Amika or maybe even a little better, a little more. Y'all tell me what you think um, if it's showing up on camera. So I do like this liquid glass, uh, instant glossing rinse from Dry Bar. And so this is one I will be getting again along with Amika. So I'm going to have to look and see if there are any more I can throw in the mix and try out. But I did want to mention because I know I was like this smell. But the smell isn't horrible. It's just Amika smells super duper good. Okay. And this one does not smell. It just smells. Mm. <laughs> so but it performs very well. I'm not disappointed at all with the performance of this item. So I wanted to update you on the Liquid Glass Instant Glossing Rinse. Love it. 
Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is a perfume. And this, I kept the box because I think the notes are on here. This is the Mix Bar Pear Blossom Perfume. And I wanted to throw this one in here because I have talked about all the Mix Bar fragrances, but they've only come out with one and it didn't need like a whole video. So the notes on this are a whimsical blend of a freshly picked pear and bright floral buds envelops you with a juicy and luscious experience. Okay, so it's pear and floral. It's a fruity floral fragrance. This pear blossom is beautiful. I'm wearing this today. Received a compliment, told I would smell really good. It is, if you, and you know, I'm tired of pear, y'all. But if you like that Juliet has a gun pear ink, that is one, it was pretty, but I felt like I couldn't smell it all the time. And sometimes I have that problem with Juliet has a gun perfumes. This is strong, honey. I'm still smelling myself. I've had this on eight plus hours. Now, keep in mind, I'm a heavy sprayer. I spray heavily on my body and heavily on my clothes. But it's it's very pretty. If you like, what is that? Um, Magnolia Charm from Bath and Body Works. Think of that, but less fresh. Because that one has a pretty pear note. But this one is very fruity. I think of the Victoria's Secret pear mist that was very popular and they took it away. Pear glossé. Think of that, but tone down that musk and sweeten it up with some bright florals. Because this is very bubbly and pretty, and, but still clean. And that's why I wanted to wear it today because it was cloudy, it was dreary, it was muggy. And so I said, you know, I'm going to wear this one, try it out because I wanted to talk about it. And I absolutely love it. I mean, I love this one. I'm thinking, is this my favorite now? It can be shampooy too. You just smell so pretty, so clean, feminine, fruity, floral, very bright. It is so nice. So I would highly recommend checking out Mix Bar's Pear Blossom because it is good, good. Okay, the last two items I'm going to talk about are like in conjunction with each other almost, but not really. I don't know. So I'm going to start with the Delina Body Cream. Because I have heard so much about this and just I just put it off and put it off and I'm not getting it until I saw I had Nordstrom money. And then I said, okay, I'm going to get some Delina. Now, everybody I watch said that this smelled exactly like the perfume. It does smell, I would say 99%. It smells like the Delina perfume. So, the first Delina. Not exclusive, not uh, La Rose. It smells like the original Delina. It's very fragrant without, I feel like, being overwhelming. Now, I will say, this body cream, you can get perfume body creams and they don't do anything. This for the price, I was like, this better perform. Because retail, this is $98. I didn't pay it $98 for it. But retail, it's $98. Y'all, I put this cream on. It's like silk. It's like butter. It sank in my skin. Smell good all day long. I'm not talking about two, three hours. I'm talking eight plus hours with this body cream. Okay, so if you were on the fence like me, I just wanted to update you because I was impressed with this. The only con besides the price, but you know, this is Parfum Zamarli. It's not going to be cheap, um, but I don't like that it only lasts six months. I don't like that. Um, so that's the only con besides the price. But if you were wondering, does it last? How is it on your skin? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 
I, I have nothing. The packaging, even though it's a little bulky. Did I crack this? Even though it's, it's pretty. What the? Y'all, now I'm about to get mad. No, that's the way. Is it? I can't tell. But it doesn't feel like I cracked it, so I don't know. The packaging is pretty. It looks a bougie. Even though it's plastic, it still looks bougie. And what's inside is a 10 out of 10. It performed wonderfully. My skin was soft and moisturized. It didn't take long to sink in. I mean, I have nothing bad to say about this except it only lasts six months. So I wanted to talk about it just in case if anyone was on the fence about it. I love it. I love it. The Delina Body Cream. Okay, the last item we're going to talk about is the Delina Dry Body Oil. So I use these together, the cream and the body oil. Now, this is not as fragrant as the cream. It's just not. But spraying it, it did give my skin a nice glow. It did, in my opinion, help even prolong the fragrance. It, it's just a beautiful, bougie, luxe experience using these two items together. I mean, it, it just is. Now, would I say... The body, the dry body oil is a must have. No, I'm not gonna say either one of these are a must have because if you have, if you have the perfume, the perfume can stand on its own too, and with you know layering it with different other items in your collection that I was using and still getting compliments before I got these two items. But I will say, let's say you're torn between, you want to get one or the other, body cream all the way, body cream all the way. This is just an added luxury because would I wear this on its own? No, I, it wouldn't moisturize my skin enough on its own. I don't think this fragrance would last enough on its own, own. but I thoroughly enjoy it, love it. I don't regret it because I wanted to experience both. So if you want to treat yourself and get both, you will smell wonderful without the perfume. If you wanted to save, well, let's see, this is $100. So if you're going to buy both of these, you might as well get the perfume. That's just my opinion. Now, if you get one or the other, that's a different thing. But if I'm going to say between these two, body cream. But if you just love Delina and you have all three Delinas and you have some of the Delina dupes like I do by accident and... You know, you have all that and you wanted to wear this. I love both of them, y'all. I don't regret both of them. I would say try to get a deal. Um, try to wait till there's a sale. If you have Nordstrom money or stuff like that. These are the times I use, you know, I get items like this because I don't want to pay retail for these at all. <laughs> so... Those are my thoughts on Delina, the body cream, and the uh, dry body oil. Love them both, but I would say between them, I'm going to say again, the body cream is where it's at. Y'all, so those are my thoughts on a few random items in my collection. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me your thoughts on any of the items I mentioned. And leave me um, some comments down below on some items you would like to see a review on. If I have them, I'll do it. If I don't, we'll see because I'm taking a break from spending the money because y'all are going to see a haul soon and you're going to understand why. <laughs> so please uh, share this video with everyone you all because we're trying to get to what? 10K, okay? So we can do a what? A giveaway when we get to 10K. 10K. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10K. <laughs> and please don't forget to turn on your notification Cation bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos. And as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.